Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I have to catch up on uh, repair videos because I uh, didn't do one for a very long time now but I kind of uh, repaired all the things I uh, had broken laying around sent by you guys so thank you again for everybody that uh, sent me some uh, broken stuff and today I have a new broken piece that I got from Chris Smith. It's a TBS Crossfire uh, receiver that uh, doesn't light up or work so first uh, thing I'm uh, gonna do to test this out is taking my multimeter leads on a continuity test and I will uh, test the power connections ground and 5 volt so I don't have an obvious short here I'm going to power my um, lab power supply set it on 5 volt Clip this here and just uh, give it a try to see if uh, it starts up. I will limit my amperage on the power supply to around 300 uh, milliamps just to be sure. And I have definitely a short because um, it draws to the limit of the power supply. So it was uh, 300 milliamps and after this I changed it to 600 A value way too big for this uh, tiny receiver So definitely something is wrong with it And the first thing I'm uh, thinking about is uh, the voltage regulator Which most definitely is a 3.3 volt reg But I'm so very lucky because Chris did a nice job on this uh, receiver coating it with some hot glue for some reason so yeah stop doing that okay so power up my uh, hot air station set it up at around half airflow temperature around 380 so let's take this uh, voltage regulator out A little uh, toothbrush and uh, rubbing alcohol um, can do wonders because the PCB was uh, hot I managed to clean that hot glue of the PCB and now we can actually look at it if you would like to know which is the input for the voltage regulator in my case I'm almost certain that uh, this pin here is the input but uh, to check that this one here is the ground and this one is the plus 5 volt connection to power the receiver so if I think that that pin there is the input I should have a solid connection between the 5 volt input and this pin and I have that I usually get to know these uh, types of uh, footprints this one is usually the input and uh, the opposite one is the output and I will check for a short on the output and as you can see I have a solid short on the output so now let's think about it what do we have connected and what could have gone wrong to make a short on the 3.3 volt regulator and by the way this means that uh, the 3.3 volt regulator is working but the current draw is quite big so what uh, could be wrong on this uh, receiver one is the big MCU the second is this little part that I 
guess it does something related to signal uh, interpretation or uh, conversion of some sort what do we have on the other side well we have the main um, RF IC that usually is connected straight to the antenna but in this case I guess we have a switcher here that switches between uh, receive and transmit what should we test and see if it's uh, bad or not first of all I will uh, heat up the board and try and do the same like uh, on the other side clean the hot glue we don't uh, need to heat it uh, hard just uh, for the hot glue to be melted a bit Okay, so now we have it uh, a little bit more um, cleaned out so that uh, we can actually see what's happening. I don't know if you can see it or not, but here there was a capacitor that was uh, broken off the port. The next uh, obvious way to go would be to remove different components on the PCB and see when the short gets away the only part that we cannot actually change is the MCU and if the MCU got bad we can just throw that in the garbage because we don't have the software that's in it this is the main RF IC that we can get out I mean uh, this solder and also here we have the RF switcher I will uh, desolder the um, RF switcher heating up the board a bit And now let's see if the short got away or not. So the short is still there. I don't mind if I cannot repair this. I'm just uh, showing you how would I uh, tackle the repair of one of those uh, these boards. Placing some uh, flux there. So this is the main uh, RF IC. Usually it's very hard to really know which part uh, has gone bad because um, they are all connected to the 3.3 volt. So that means that if one has a short you have to take them uh, out one by one and see when the short uh, has gone away So now we took out the RFIC, will the short be still present or not? Because if the RFIC is indeed bad, focus camera, okay, because if indeed the RFIC is bad then we still have a chance of repairing this because we will just order the RFIC, the transceiver. As you can see we still have the short and for the sake of it I will try and remove this also, the MCU from here. And see if that uh, solves our short.
And now the moment of truth. As you can see, there is no shirt present anymore. So this was an uh, unlucky thing, this MCU. Oh, I dropped it. So this uh, little MCU got fried. There are many reasons for it to get fried, especially getting um, weird voltages on the serial connections. So uh, yeah, the RFIC was uh, in uh, good condition, or at least I'm thinking, because uh, the short was not present on that one. It could be possible that also the RFIC was bad, but I don't know what to say. It was a good uh, experience, <laughs> and uh, it will go to the parts uh, bin, where I keep all my uh, PCBs from where I take parts from. Thank you again very much for watching. I uh, didn't forget about the series about uh, components found on uh, RC electronic uh, PCBs. I will uh, get on with that as um, fast as my time allow it. And um, yeah, because a lot of uh, new things appeared, I will be pretty busy in the next couple of weeks. So uh, until next video, thank you very much for watching and uh, bye.